Hey guys, that's all here. Welcome back to the next video on Resident Evil. RE1, Game episode four. four. Yeah, four. Da, 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 da. It's going by da, da, da. quite quickly. It's going it? by. We're, are we halfway through? Like episode eight is when we went uh, for Jill. Do you think we're halfway? Do you think we have, what, five episodes? Four, five, we're six, seven, eight? One. I think we're going to beat it by six. Really? Well, I don't know if there's like know. more than Jill. I don't but know. Because there's feeling. more stuff to do. Yeah. But like we were at, from like, now we're on four. Mm. We're basically at Jill when she was in episode six, when she was doing the, 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 the what's it called? The Green Goblin people. Oh, yeah. Okay. The hunters. The hunters. Yeah. yeah. Hunters and gatherers. I don't know. I'm feeling we're going to go to seven at least. Seven or eight. Anyway, I'm enjoying the ride. I hope you guys are as well. Yeah, it'd be quite cool if we like did both of them in the same episodes as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, we're this is completely unplanned. We have no idea how things are going to go. Consistency, right? But, we're, uh, but last week was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I'm it's feeling, a fun game to just do on the weekends. And just it is, you know. It's our Saturday, if you've not noticed. Every Saturday, either we uh, shoot the three hours or whatever plus or we edit for three hours plus, so it's really... Edit over three hours. Yeah, yeah, it is. It does take time, right? The editing takes a long time. I think everybody knows who's done a little bit of editing. You think you can get it done in an hour, two hours, and it just turns into three or four. Uh, but anyway, I went swimming again with Hannah today, so I'm feeling uh, feeling refreshed and... Uh, and uh, what's it called? We have our... I'm going to get my computer shipped. Oh, that's right. My PC ships to this person that's going to update it. Yeah. He's gonna and get then we upgrade. have to, we're gonna try and beat this game like before uh, no like, we're gonna record today yep and then we're gonna try to edit by finish tomorrow we're trying so, to edit tomorrow or the or by Monday or Tuesday so that yeah. we can so and that we, we can, can send it yeah, and then right and then I can have it back before the holidays exactly we're gonna try at least we're gonna try anyway thanks for uh, being with us it's uh, always a pleasure to um, be with you guys and I'm uh, with all this kind of stuff that's happening in the world. We, uh, we hope that we can bring a couple hours of uh, fun and entertainment and, yeah, you know, just chillax, right? Chillax time. Chillax, chillax with, uh, with uh, RE1. Uh, shout outs. Shout outs. Ah! Uh, we're going to go with Vinny Redfield. Chris Redfield. <laughs> I think, obviously, an RE fan there. Uh, I'm going to give it all my, what I got here. This is an Italian name here. Tutto sui mie video ghiocci. Ooh, I like that. You actually. know that mm. Tutto. Sui. Yeah. Yeah. That's su Sui. You know Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh right, he does that. He goes yeah. like Sui. <laughs> Kevin Alva, shout out to you, boy. Uh hope everything's going well, well with you. Uh Ty. 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 T A I. Not necktie, just Ty. Good yeah. guy. Bow tie. Bow tie. One of them I searched up tutorials on YouTube is how to tie a tie. Tie a tie. I haven't tied, well, you've had this clip-on thing, actually. Yeah, you know, but I don't yeah. actually do ties. I have a clip-on at my school. <laughs> That's out of, like... So a, you can't get strangled. You can't get strangled. Everything's for... But then people, like, for, just uh, snap Health and tie. safety nowadays. People just, like, snap your tie and run away. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's just funny. They just, like, grab it. That's right. Exactly. Uh, also, Latveria. Latveria. That sounds Latveria. good. Latveria. Uh, Michael Smith. want to say a shout-out to you as well. Angel Heart. Nice name, oh. Angel Heart. The angel, the angels are calling. Videos at home. Also, you've been a uh, uh, big supporter as well. So uh, we've got a few uh, good questions coming up uh, throughout. So when th when you're trying to find the rooms, I can I can <laughs> fill in the time with those questions, you know. But uh, anyway, always a pleasure. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully, we'll make some progress. We're going down deep. We're going into the, into the. Yeah, basements. we're gonna try and go down deep into the the sewers area. Okay, all right. You know what I'm talking about, right? I remember, yes. I you remember? remember. I remember. <laughs> I'm not at all. I just had a birthday last week. I want to say thanks to all those that have uh, sent uh, birthday wishes. My wife turns uh, turned uh, birthday on March 1st. Hannah, our firstborn, March 2nd, and I'm on the 4th of March, right? So, uh, kind of March madness. You want to leak your age, by the way. No. Well, okay, I'm 51. Well, they know <laughs> kind of right now already. I'm 51. Hannah's 15, so I got two balloons, one five and one in a, in a one... We're going to do some you sort should of cheesy uh, you picture. You should look quite good for 51. Well, some I appreciate guys, that. Some guys I paid like him for that, by the way. Gray beard. <laughs> I paid him well. I'm just being nice to you. You are. I appreciate that. You're you a good should kid. appreciate You're that. a good kid. 
on that note, guys. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, guys. So. Okay. We heard in the comments that uh, what's it called? That mm. poison. The poison will drain our health the mm. longer, the more time we take. That makes sense, doesn't it? Though? Right. It does. So poison. There's another band, Poison. Oh, another, another 80s. Everything Pop reminds me of 80s, you know? Okay, oh, here we go. So... Oh, I can't carry it. <laughs> no, right away. Dude, okay. What are you gonna do? Run back? We gotta run back. Run back for shelter. If we lose health, we're gonna probably just leave because that's like... Oh, we will restart this yeah, whole thing? Yeah, because that's just like bullying. Yeah, yeah. But I think you can get there quickly. It's all part of the game. We love it. Sunny day here today in the UK. I was talking about wind in the UK. Whenever I watch the weather reports, and uh, it's always like gale, gales. <laughs> they have so many names for like wind here. You know, breezy, slight breeze, gale force winds. <laughs> Gales. I never. I don't remember ever a, a Canadian, you know, weather guys calling about gales. I, I, not many, not, no often. But here in the UK, especially that Wales area, right, Aiden? You're getting a lot of gale force winds where you are. Yes. Perfect. I'm fine. I think one of the first time to actually use. I think that's the first time we use a blue herb actually. Oh right. Because it was like. Were you poisoned last time? I remember a snake poisoning you before. No, in the previous game, and yeah. then you went into the jail. Yeah, but then uh, what's it? But then we got saved by Wesker and that. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. But didn't a snake get you? Like a, like a small snake. No, oh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it just made you like lose power, but not necessarily oh, the poisoned. Other you know, like that part where, like around here, where you're outside, those little small snakes that get you? They don't give you any poison, these guys? Yeah, but... They um, just take away your health? They take a bit of health, but I've never really been getting... Da -na -na -na, da -na -na. Uh, it's great. It's generally, like, I'm chilled now, you know? It's like an escape horror, but it makes me relaxed. Strange, yeah. strange that, isn't it? And I know you guys know that feeling. It's like, how do you, how is this, oh, God. how is this relaxing? How is it a rabid dog biting my ass, relaxing? Was oh, that, is that too much? Is that not family friendly? Yeah, it's very nice. Ah, dear. Should I kill the dog? I haven't got my... Up to you if you want to kill a dog. You know how I feel about those dogs. You guys love that 80s stuff last week. Talking about those movies. One thing that I was kind of surprised about, like how many Jean-Claude Van Damme fans there are. I shouldn't be too surprised about that. He's a very likable guy. By the way. And Bloodsport, fantastic movie. Yeah, what's up, dude? What did you say we had to do? I forgot what you said that we were gonna do. We all want to get the Red Jewel. I want to get Magna P.I. Oh, yeah. We've had a few, I think Emma was talking about getting the Magnum and a few others. Not the ice cream. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not Magnum ice cream. Nelson well, loves, I mean, Nelson loves oh, those oh, Magnums, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah, he loves those Magnum ice cream. You know, we have an, an ice cream truck that comes around here. Do you guys have that still, where you, wherever you guys live? Like, it, that was long gone in Canada, but I remember having an ice cream truck, you know, the, the sound... And everybody, all the kids just run on the middle of the road getting, you know, I mean, risking, their, got, risking their life to go and get the ice cream truck. We've got the Magnum rounds already. Yeah, I know. We have some. That's why we need the gun. Not much use, eh? Without the gun. So I want to... Remember, remember where that room is or what? Yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, the ice cream truck, they do come. And now that's getting warmer, I'm feeling Sunday. And Nelson just be... <laughs> 
<laughs> he hears that tune. <laughs> he just runs down the stairs to my office. Normally, I'm around. And uh, and I know it's coming. I hear the... Dee -de -ling -de -ling -de -ling -de -ling. And now, all of a sudden, I hear the steps. And I know <laughs> I know it's Nelson coming down. It's so cute, actually. And I got to decide whether this is the lucky week for him or not. Because I don't always go for it. But he tries every every time that's possible. What's up? What are you doing now? You're changing things for you? Yeah. I went to McDonald's after the uh, the swim. There's a McDonald's nearby. So that's so after after our swim today, Hannah and I we went to McDonald's. She always gets an ice cream. Oh, this makes it better. I can run better. That was good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can run better now? Well, like, now I can sprint without having to stop it. Oh, excellent. But I just realized. <laughs> but I've got to use both hands. Pro gamer, Chad. He's got both hands on the keyboard. Looks like you're playing piano. Dun, 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 dun. Moonlight Sonata all over again. I'm oh, so funny. When you say it all over again, it makes it sound like it's a bad thing. No, no, it's a good thing. Yeah, you say all over again. All over again. Well, I'm, I'm zooming. I'm a speed run, my guy. Well, one little uh, sort of modification to your keyboard. Oh, yeah, he is sprinting. Lactic acid burning, building in his quads there. Oh, nice move. Just billowing. Okay, I'm, I'm just gifted, my guy. <laughs> right, I dodged all of that. That was good, actually. Yeah, shout out to Lexi. I do like you shooting things, though. Don't let, <laughs> let you destroying stuff. Don't just run around everything. But that was good. I, I was genuinely I've impressed. I've got like, a good weapon to get it. I'm not going that way. I had a hunter. And that's the hunter that's like really strong. I need to get the magnum. Yeah, get that thing. First question today from Andy Robotnik. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. There's two, so... What are you going to do? You going to shoot one? Oh, damn it. Takes three, right? You know, a lot of people were... Uh, PJ Venom actually, he said, I'm sorry, but I, I had to laugh when when Lex Arnold's head got severed cleanly off there in that last game we had. People felt your pain. Yeah. The fact that you just died without saving. That was a big lesson learned from last game, that's for sure. That's, right? So are you going to save more often this time? Oh. It's okay. Oh no, damn it. Oh dear, you oh, can't get out of this thing. Uh oh, we're in trouble here, guys. Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh. The fourth time? Oh, wow. Well, that was intense. We were just talking about how awful these hunters are. Sprinting. Nice. That was awesome. He is totally focused. Because when caution, you are you are totally caution focused. Caution is when they slice your head off. Right. Oh, I see. So if I got hit now, they could just like, like well, kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, we learned that the hard way last time. I learned that off YouTube actually. That was super. Oh, that's the room. Yep. How long did we stay in this room? <laughs> Looking for that light switch. <laughs> How easy now. There it is. 
This is good memories, actually. It really reminds me of that last. That was really fun. We have space. You can carry items. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, there's a cartridges. Hold on, but make sure you don't. Can you? Okay, good. All right. We can't carry. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we don't want to go through that again. I'm running out of shotgun bullets, actually. What do you mean? I see something. It's Magnum. Magnum's about to move. What do you... Can we put the light on again? Yes. God. We just... How good is this Magnum? I'm trying to think of uh, Magnum PI fans. What was the... Uh... Actually, he was an American guy, but he had that British accent. Hit the, his sort of mm, person that was on that show. Ah, I've been trying to remember it. Anyway, it's fantastic, Red Jewel. Oh, yeah. oh, maybe it'll come to me. But the music, this music suits the hunters. It's like the bows awesome. awesome. Good thing I didn't die there. So you're on caution now? You're gonna take one greenery to get fine? Yeah. You're, like, you're gonna do double or are you gonna just do the one single green? What do I need? You need the other jewel. Or no, 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 you don't you just you keep the you just keep the the Because you were gonna get the Magnum. The Magnum comes with six bullets, I I presume. Think, if I remember correctly. Okay, good job. That's super. Yes. I should have hold them and then. Are you going to have extra shotgun? You don't have any shotgun bullets? That's it? Yeah, that's it. So. Handgun? What about handgun? How many handgun bullets do you have? Is it a good idea to have the uh, magnum and handgun? 75. Maybe handgun and... and uh, handgun and magnum. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, that'd be a good idea. Doesn't do much, but... Well, I haven't seen you use it as well, as much as uh, last time. Should I get rid of the shotgun? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, I'm... You got Magnum. Go with I'm Magnum. advice from you, right? Just, yeah, try. I mean, it's your game, but we're working it together here. And the uh, Robotnik, Robotnik, said, Would you be willing to... Uh, Pablo, would you be willing to voice some of the Wesker lines that were voiced by other actors who played Wesker in later games also? Uh, it would be cool to hear your take on some of those scenes. And uh, I would say yes. I would say yes to that. I will I will do some of those lines. Not to be, uh, to take any, uh, anything away from the actors that have done, you know, uh, Wesker after, uh, after me, but uh, it'd be kind of fun to see what it would sound like uh, if, uh, if I had continued on being Wesker from two onwards or but, those uh, so yeah I'll take on some lines for you guys yeah it'll be fun I'll give that I'll give that a heart when I, I have back on uh, on internet connection so thank you Andy for, that, uh, for that question no. go ahead is the internet out? my internet I don't I don't want to have my phone pinging me so I'm on airplane mode <laughs> although I haven't been on an airplane in a long time so what's this hmm what are you looking for now? It's that, it's by that downstairs thing. Yeah. And you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like where the, uh, that, what I thought was. Uh, oh, it's just the. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Well, and we are going I'm back. Have to kill a hunter. And look how smooth I am now. Hunters are such losers. 
Can you kill him with a ha with a handgun bullet? That's pretty awesome. I wonder how much. Oh. Be careful here. Yeah. Be careful. Well, oh, this is a, this is intense actually. I like it. I like it though. This is this is fun. I'm generally excited about this idea. You're gonna shoot a hunter with a handgun. Try, 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 try. What? It doesn't do anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. You better get out. You're going to save. But you're still fine, though. Okay. If I could get the Magnum gun, yeah. I could get them both. Yeah. But I need to get there without dying. I'm kind of excited about this. This is, like this is stressful, actually, but I like it. I like it. in there yes okay okay good i like see this this was fun i'm happy if i forgot the the red crystal <laughs> i remember when this first came right i was like I, a gun like i really didn't see but now that i know just how special this magnum is uh it's like mm, it's like a dessert this is just so good. I love it. I want to take. I'm gonna use this though because they could like. Really? Yeah. Okay. So we get six bullets. It's gonna take. Oh, I think. Yeah. Good. Okay. 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 Remember, this is a, a very very useful weapon. You don't want to just go too cavalier with this stuff. But one one bullet makes sure. I'm waiting it works. for them to go. To yeah, yeah, good. Just be patient. That's good. Fantastic. This is the very best weapon. Oh, look at those losers with their. Yeah. You the stay there. Oh yeah, that's a good scene actually. You want to put a screenshot on that sucker? Yeah, screenshot that sucker if you can. I just love it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's waiting for Chris to do a pose. Yeah, that's yeah, why. that's good. Okay, excellent. I love it. <laughs> that's gonna go on our wall. <laughs> Print that baby up. So what now? So now you have the Magnum, and uh... oh no! I won't kill him because I need to get around and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. So intense that machine. Love it. This guy doesn't need to kill. No, no, he just hangs. He's loitering all the time, that guy. Okay. So maybe. I might keep this in case I encounter some dogs. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. You know. Mhm. Mm sure. Next tops. Hmm. Love it. You're not saving here? No. Okay. Or like, you know, <laughs> You're sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, I could. But how many. Yeah, how many ink ribbons do you have left? You have a couple, don't you? One ink. Two. Huh? Two. Two what? Ink ribbons. That means you have two saves left? Yeah. Ooh. We need to have more ink ribbons. Where can we find them? I don't know. We'll have to find. You know, I think... If I got rid of that... Yeah. Are you just going to have 15 handgun bullets? This is one of the few times like I'm really paying attention as to what you're gonna carry now. After after having died last week. When you died. I think I know what more increments are, so 
think yeah. I can save. Okay, so we're we're saving, guys. I had a feeling he might do it. Good. So you have to go through it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Excellent. Excellent, okay. So we are gonna put this away and let's see if we can get more questions here while we're going through it. PJ Venom. God, you're always you're just an awesome guy. All the all the time you have such terrific uh comments and uh he shares a lot you know uh, i love it he's up in ireland pj venom 1985 American. no no he's not hi guys hope the dynamic duo are well we're a dynamic duo hmm. i like that i have a question for pablo how did it feel finding out you were part of the very beginning of what would evolve or perhaps mutate <laughs> is more appropriate uh, into one of the most successful video game series of all time, not to mention voicing one of the most iconic villains in gaming. Well, I guess it's uh, it's come to an unbelievable surprise, um, and I, I couldn't be uh, more uh, more happy about that. I suppose you know it's been a, a, just a terrific surprise. It kind of just says that you know commit to things, do things in your life, work hard, and. There are going to be little experiences, things that you do that you have no idea will come back and reward you in some ways. Because uh, I had no idea this was going to, what this was going to lead to. But I believe what I was doing back then, you know, doing some of that modeling and acting and voice work just to kind of help do my adventures around uh, Southeast Asia. And then uh, little did I know that, uh, you know, it, it blossomed into something pretty, pretty special. So... I guess the, the moral of the story is even when things are, are tough and you, and you keep grinding that uh, you'd be surprised like the little Easter eggs will appear later on in life and Lex Arnold, uh and does Lex Arnold, and for Lex Arnold, does Pablo share any traits oh right ready Lex Arnold. does your dad Pablo share any traits with the infamous Albert Wesker in real life no no <laughs> okay there's nothing I do at all that sounds... Or, you don't really know Wesker just well that yet, you know. You don't know the character that is... Uh, I think about links with the actual, like, act, like... Is there anything I do that come around and reminds you of Albert Wesker? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that kind of... That's sort of Wesker-esque. And you say, stop it. Stop it? Like, stop it. Don't stop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, My friends sure. are like, when I go around your house, yeah, I'm going to go to the door and knock on it. I'll be like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to tell them, you can't go into that door. Anyway, he says, uh, keep up the great work, lads. Really enjoying the content. So, yeah. it's terrific. He's, uh, thanks, Should I kill thanks, this guy in here? Uh, with no, what? Handgun? Handgun? No. Cold. He's a hunter. It's a hunter? Yeah, okay, all right. If you think it's, it's worth... ink ribbon. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, if he had a kitchen... You, you just really took your time on that one there. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were being too cavalier. Well, okay. I, I, want to, I don't know what to You want them to be kept closer? Oh, yeah, I seem to recall there was. An ink ribbon in here. Maybe you took it? Did I? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to be uh, interesting. Hmm. We don't have the key. There's still another key, yeah? Mm hmm I wish I could help you in terms of uh, remembering where those... You got the, the... In a spider room? I know there was definitely one in there. Did you get that one? Yeah. No, I feel good to the fact that you, you did save, though. Because I... That would really be heartbreaking if you had... through it all here.
gigantic spider. Looks so big. Like, where does that guy sleep? Oh, yuck. It's just a search for Red October. A lot of searching in this one here, a lot of search and destroy. Latveria asked uh, your favorite BOW monsters. It's like her favorites. I love killing uh, hunters with that magnum. That's a, there's a great satisfaction in that. I do not like the dogs. I do not like the dogs. I need the battery. Oh yeah, okay. You know? Yeah, right. And where's that? that? Where's that battery? Don't ask me. Did we have to find the battery in Jill? Yeah, we must have, right? Why is it I can't remember anything <laughs> from the previous? It's not just you. Really, you can't. I don't remember where the battery was. Right. I could kill these dogs right now. Okay, that's for fun. Yeah, lots of bullets. Oh my god, you just invited the whole bunch. Oh no. I think you just... Oh, this was not necessarily a good idea. You're not going to use magnum on those. Dude, you are... Yes, that's totally. Yes, annihilated. That was totally self-inflicted. <laughs> or they're like savage. Oh, that was rough. What are you gonna do? The has got annihilated. <laughs> that was funny. I feel like shooting some dogs. He didn't kill one of them actually. They killed you almost. We're going back out. Going back out. So definitely you got the increment from that room, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Well, you can't say it's bad. Oh, nice. Oh, this is the key. Okay, I thought actually. I need that. That small key. Okay. Right, I see. Okay. Because the small keys aren't different, so you don't know what one you need and what one's the most recent. Okay, I didn't one. realize that. I thought this there was only one small key. No, there's like many. Can you examine the small keys? Yeah. It's the same thing, I've yeah. checked before. Yeah. I knew there had to be some. Yeah, they all look very similar to me, these keys. Those are designs. The same thing. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do they say... Anyway, all right. Okay, good. Ugh. Yeah, I think it was on that... It was on this table. It was on that table, right? Should look over there just in case. Oh, we get shotgun bullets here? No, that's not true. Oh, that's a chair, okay. Yeah, fine. Yes. Come on. Alright. 
You're doing well, dude. Yes. My phone. My phone. I, I had to. I had to say that was all you. That was three. Completely, that was completely all. Three increments. That's great. Isn't that how many is normally inside? That's yeah, but just three is better than one. Yeah, yeah, I think that always continues. So that means four sage, so that's going to last us. Like, that's going to last us. An episode of the first song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, uh, we're saving on average how many times? Three? Two. Two or three? Two, three. Yeah, yeah. That's excellent. We feel uh, a bit more relieved. And now you can't uh, carry any more, can you? The desk is locked. There's a question for both of us. Are you ready? No? Moment? Sure. Yeah. Hello from my sister, Megobite. Yeah, terrific. And me. Fantastic, Megobite. How are you? Uh, long time RE fans. That's great to hear. From what I can gather, you guys might be South End boys. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, he's more of a South End boy because he's born here. But but that's where we are living right now. That's right. Well, how do they know that? Well, previous interview. and These guys are all sleuths. You not notice that? These guys, they, they, everyone in, in the RE community, <laughs> this is my little nuggets, they, they assemble and, and they're, they're, they they're clever. Everything. Everybody's clever in this, in this group. Uh, and uh, which isn't too far away from us in Kent. They're in Kent. You can see Kent over the water, over the Thames. Didn't we if, say a joke? You though? can throw a grenade in. Like we said that was it. Yeah, that's yeah, Megobite. That's what, yeah, that's I thought we were talking about that. It could have been Megobite, yeah. Also, there's uh, Momat. Momat's from South End, though. Hey, Momat, how are you? So, hello from your neighbors. Terrific. Uh, my question is, uh, what's it like living in our quiet little corner of the world after being in Japan? That's a good question, you know. Like, I was in Tokyo for almost 20 years uh, on two separate occasions. And when you're young, and I'm sure a lot of people can attest to this, you know, you go and work in London, the big city, and maybe you live in... Lancashire and you go to London but then you know you, you start having a family a couple kids and you just don't want that kind of pace anymore so I was ready I was I was 40 when we moved here true story I was so birthday March 4th remember that big earthquake Fukushima disaster in Japan uh, that was 2011 March uh, March 11th I think it was so anyway, we, uh, March 4th birthday, 40 years old. March 9th, we bought this house. March 11th was Fukushima. That, that was brutal. To be in that earthquake, I tell you guys, that is not fun to be yeah, in an earthquake. Yeah, earthquakes in geography. Earthquakes. You know that Japan has one third of the world's earthquakes. It's just crazy how many earthquakes. All these tectonic plates meet there in, under Tokyo. And that's what was under like, Japan. The tectonic plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just unbelievable. Together. And a whole ring of fire, right? All that New the, Zealand. The, and, the, the, the the magma chambers. That's right. Just the force. That volcano is in that. That's what we're doing. And the, that was really quite something to be in that. And just like the ground upheaving like the force that it's unbelievable like these earthquakes anyway and of course the tidal wave the tsunami that hit uh, Fukushima so awful anyway a week later we were on the move we went to Canada we were all gonna we were gonna move in June but everything just moved forward because of that of that incident in Fukushima so uh, we were here I went to Canada first saw my family there and then anyway long story short is that we were here at the end of March of 2011 and uh, you know, after the whole earthquake, two two young kids. You know, he was only a year and a half or so old. It was time to uh, to move, and and I'm quite happy being here now uh, with family. And yeah, it's good. It's good. So I, I like this quiet corner. It's not so quiet. We're only an hour away from London, right? An hour and a half on the train. An hour and a half or so. I go to London quite regularly. So it doesn't feel that long. You know, you get the headsets on and you just watch your whatever podcast whatever it is yeah people are listening to RE and, and going to going to work you know we're entertaining people in the mornings and afternoons sometimes you know that's cool it's cool to know that isn't it uh, so anyway uh, we would love to visit Tokyo one day please do uh, Tokyo is a great uh, great city and, and uh, be a lot of fun reach out to me maybe we can arrange you can take a look at some samurai swords uh, at our studio, but it's only, only by private appointment and only from people that I trust. Okay, so we took a, just a short break there. 
when the iPad gets to like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, then it starts to like <laughs> it starts to. Uh, so we were so like I had I had a feeling like because the battery needed the battery to go into the ground and we can't do anything with the battery. That's right. So I think well we kind of had to live with it. We had to remind ourselves where that battery was. I thought I heard something that really scared me. I said kitchen area, and you said you weren't sure, so... Anyway, we want to make the most out of our time, so... Oh, it's a guy. No, don't die. Just stupid. Cool. I'll do this. Okay. You know how just how valuable that those herbs are. Those 11 herbs and spices. We actually had KFC on my birthday. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. I couldn't believe it. The first Colonel Sanders was like 1940. It's been around for a long time. It makes me so thirsty though, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Am I in the wrong place? Probably it's a level up. Oh. It's okay. The elevator? The elevator. Yeah, I was leveled up in my chair. <laughs> there we go. Handgun, if you want to shoot. Five bullets. Oh, it didn't die. You can't hit him in the face? You can't. see it <laughs> oh nice oh no 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 get off god they're like magnets okay here oh good one good I'm feeling charged okay good oh this is a nice little room isn't it yeah, it's a nice piece room, isn't it? It's just like away from everything. Can you take this and it'll add to that? Yeah. It will, yeah. It Always do. does. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, that's super. Oh, don't, don't, get off, get off, get off, get off. Don't die. Okay. Okay. Get around that loser. Okay. This is definitely. Bro, how many are there? And you can't get the shotgun. Or you want to shoot? Really? Magnum? This no, guy? I don't want to. They're dumb. Yeah, they're just, just idiots. Actually, you know, that, you know when they, somebody asked me about what I do to maybe Wesker, I've, I've used the word idiot a lot. So I'd say the word idiot is probably one of those Wesker lines. Oh no. Oh no, we might actually have... <laughs> we might be uh, being stalked by Nelson again here. Oh no, not again. Nelson. Oh. No, it's not Nelson. It's Mummy with some snacks. Okay. Terrific. I'm kind of stuck in this corner and the door's locked. Okay, you can shoot one. So, uh, uh, no, no. Can you go around him? I'd be proud if you just get around that loser. That's it, nice. Oh, get off. Oh, I can stop, I can stop it. Get out of that thing. This is a tense episode. Yes. Oh, no, 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 get off that. Oh, no. Just elbow that loser. Oh, you got an herbivore here. Oh, I can't. Well, you can use that one green and then take that, yeah. You know how clutch I was right now, though? Dude, I, 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 I could have used so... that because that thing bit me. And then the other one would have bit me. And then I'll only use this. It wasn't mine. Oh, another one? Really? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so. Because that's... they both get you up, like. Don't you have one space for another green? No? You don't want to take it? In that other room? No?
Good. Nice. Nice. I must say, this is this is a tense episode for me. I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> it's like he's running around things. This is more challenging. It's was, really good. Actually, you're doing so, really well. That was so tough. This is like this is Lexonal's show. This is definitely the show of Lexonal here. That was probably one of my most proud moments of. of wrestling. That was really good. That was I've really never good. actually played that well. Yeah, that's good. Because you you didn't if the temptation of using those magnums. The game knew. What's that game, noise again? That big that bangy noise. I think it's that overhyped zombie. Wow. So what now? I'll use the pencil. Yeah, we want to get outside now. Yeah. This means we're escaping the mansion. Oh, we already kind of have. Yeah, you want to make sure that's on 60. 60 FPS. Because below 6 is when it starts like, lagging. But you can see the difference. He's starting to get fluent on computer stuff. He wants another graphics card, and that's what he was... Uh, we're going to upgrade this computer. We've got a couple years, but... of good use out of it, but we need to make yeah. some adjustments. Yeah, it's been like, oh, I used to. And these files are so big. You know, each... Well, how big are these files? 10 gigs? 10 gigs, about. 10 gigs, each one of these video files for... Ari, <laughs> we're single-handedly keeping Taiwan in business with with uh, processors and microprocessing. Amazing. I think we're in for oh, another another question. Last time, J Chip Show. J Chip, hey man, how are you? Uh, last time you streamed, uh, you uh, you left some wrestling references, so I gotta ask who. Were the wrestlers you enjoyed watching, and have you shown Lex Arnold any old school wrestling? I've only done old school wrestling on on uh, on Nelson, and also, could you do your best Macho Man impression? Oh, oh yeah, it's the Macho Man. Oh yeah, I used to actually have a Macho Man oh. Savage, <laughs> Muscle Macho Man Savage, uh, uh, doll. In my in my high school locker, you don't have that locker thing actually, do you? Well, some kids do, but like you don't need. But there's like little puny things for like a pair of shoes or something. Like that's a big part of high school. Um, was the uh, was having, having your own room. locker in, in Canada? That was just the best. Right? It's like a room. You know? Anyway, I had a I had no, no joke. I had Randy Macho Man Savage like just dangling there. On a string in my locker. Like you could do anything you wanted in your Yeah, locker. anything you wanted in it. So I was Except like, from like a whole bunch of swears. And well, of course, nothing, you know. Well, they're going to inspect a run and Exactly, yeah. Will, and people will tell or something too. But anyway, I had pictures of swimmers because I was competitively swimming at that time. Alex Bauman, Victor Davis, for example. These are big swimmers from Canada back in the day. Um, but I had Randy Macho Man Savage hanging on there. And actually, at my high school, there was a program where they integrated some of the kids with like uh, that had autism and some other, and Down syndrome. And it just happened to be that my locker. Oh, that guy that tried to like literally kill you. <laughs> there was a couple of guys. It's quite funny actually. But my locker was near the sort of special ed, if you if you will, uh, class, right? But they loved Macho Man. Right? Every time, they, every morning, like Pablo, open the locker. I want to see Macho Man. I want to see Macho Man. So I open the locker and they just and they just dangle and kind of hit Macho Man, uh, but they always wanted to kind of grab it as well. I said, no, no, don't grab it, you know, and just let it be. But I, I just uh, so Macho Man, oh yeah, kind of hurts the throat to do that, but he um, he was great. And the and uh, yeah, oh Mean Gene, remember Mean Gene? Those lo apart from all the wrestlers, I loved Mean Gene interviews. They were terrific, you know. But of course Hulk Hogan. 24 inch pythons. What are, you, what are you gonna do when 24 inch pythons come after you? I wish I had one more space, but mm. one more space would have been very useful actually. I'm trying to think of, of course, uh, the, uh, yeah, the giant, the giant, right? He was great. Andre the giant. 
He was fantastic. So Jay Chip. Was like seven foot. Yeah, yeah. I showed. I sh- I've seen. I remember. I. I, I, uh, I think that. this came from my friend's house. You know, Luca. Luca. Yeah. Oh, well, my name is Luca. Luca. That was like two years ago. And then we played WWE on his um, Xbox. Oh, yeah. And then I was Andre the Giant, and I Were just you? got this ladder and I just slammed it on these people. <laughs> it was really fun. Andre the Giant. And then he. And then. Andre the Giant. And he could drink. You should look it up. If anybody you guys want to... Oh, yeah, he drank the, like, the most all the beer at the <laughs> The most outrageous amount of alcohol this guy can drink. These are true stories. Look it up. Andre the Giant drinking or beers. And he would literally have like 50 beer in like a day. He's just an enormous guy. That's so like... Just crazy. Beer. He drank so much. Yeah, there's stories of him just getting a 2-4, sitting in the back of some van going to some wrestling, and he would just drink the whole thing. And his hands were massive. And he would put a bottle and just yeah, made a bottle. There's that thing online that you can get this hot, you can get this hand of Andre the Giant with like the with like a drink. With a salt. drink in it. <laughs> and you can put your own like Coca Cola in this like. Salt. Amazing, Andre the Giant. Such great memories, Andre the Giant. Oh. Um, we mentioned Coco Beware last week. The Millionaire Man. DiBiase, Rick, Rick DiBiase, Rick DiBiase. I think it's DiBiase. So many names, loved it. Wrestling was just mo- just monster mad. All my friends. We got a dog. We had a dog, Taylor, little miniature schnauzer. And I, and I must admit, I would just kind of bear hug him and do these suplexes and kind of fun things with that dog. <laughs> He's just kind of half enjoyed it, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it was, uh, I never tormented it, don't worry, you know. But I, I just, uh, but it was just like a kind of, it was just a huge part of my life, you know, the wrestling. And if you're if you're born in that sort of seventies, then that was big, big for you too. I know it was. I know it was. Oh yeah. Anyway, thanks, Jay Chip. Bring back good memories. I'll think of more wrestling. Um, as we the figure four, remember the figure four? We used to try and replicate the figure four. That's how the wrestling moved. Like, okay, I think I'll stop with the wrestling now. All the women are watching, going, "God, stop talking wrestling." Anyway, I'll, I'll 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 show some of those old cage matches. You know, I think with that, like some I think you'll enjoy that. I'm almost on the ground now. Can't wait. Let's do it. Yeah, but this new control thing, I can run real quick. Right? Yeah, yeah, you seem fast. This is uh this is it's like because when I have, when I have the cue like I'd have to stop and then turn it was like but now if you just use two hands mm. you can just do everything basically. <clears throat> Four was broken for us so hard. It's like no. Oh yeah, remember last time it didn't didn't work right? There's some glitch. God, that macho man just did my throat in. <laughs> it's really hard because his face would get all red too, and I think he's just he's just. Clutching his throat. Ugh, hard. This oh, really yeah. scares me. What's that? What's that? Oh, this underground thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, back scratcher. So we're getting into the ball? Oh, you want to save here, dude? No, not yet. Eh? You've done a lot, though. Could be worthwhile saving. Any luck, on? No, not interested. Uh, I don't think we save. Wait, what happened there? What am I on the phone? If I like. Oh, what's that? Machine gun? Dude, what's this? Flamethrower. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage this can bring. Oh, wow, this is new. Yes, yes, yes. 240 ammo in the flamethrower. Uh-oh. That triggered something. That is not good. I think a ball or something is going to come after you now. No? Do I want to go over here? I don't know. <laughs> I would... See, something's going to... You don't want to save? Oh, I might oh, save, I'm tense. Actually. I'm tensed. Oh, no, it's locked. Oh, we'll put the gun back, and then it'll open up. Do you want to save first? 
You haven't got... The, the flamethrower. You put that... Oh, you can't put it down, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. So do you want to save first and then come back to that room? Yeah. Down here, you, you don't have to go up the ladder. Yeah, but I haven't got any... Hmm? I haven't got any ink. Oh, ink ribbons, right. That's why I was like... I, I keep forgetting that ink ribbon stuff. <laughs> Your face when it was locked. You're like, oh no. <laughs> We're trapped. Andre the Giant. From... I love when they said parts unknown. I'm going back on wrestling again. I can't help it, you know? From parts well, unknown. I'm just trying to play this game and listen to this, like, creep and run, like... <laughs> Talk stuff. <laughs> Weighing 435 pounds. So Dell is asking me now, now I don't know this is new to me here. This you will give me an egg. This is this is obviously a big line in RE5. Dell has asked me, can you read, can you say you will give me an egg? In like a Wesker voice. You will give me an egg. <laughs> Do that again in Lexano voice. You will give me an egg. You will give me an egg. I don't know the context of this at all, but I, well, how would how would Wesker say this? You will give. You will give me an egg. You will give me an egg. How's that? You will give me an egg. You will give me an egg. I like that. I think it's not bad, eh? Yeah. yeah I, I think that's okay. I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hope that worked. I can do more in the future. But I'm trying to think of like why he wants that. But we'll we'll eventually get to RE5. That's a long way away that I did. Are we going to do RE5 together? No. No? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Okay. RE1, one, two, three. You will give me an egg. Yeah, I hope that like I hope you like that one, Dale. Okay. Yeah. So what's up, dude? Can we like pause? We're gonna do a break. We're gonna have a little bit of snack here, and then um, yeah. And then we'll be we'll right back. <laughs> okay. Awesome. You will give me an egg. We're all uh, juiced up. This guy just had a bit of Coke. Coke and um, Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> nice, nice healthy snack. When this kid uh, has Coke, he he just lifts up. All of a sudden, he becomes. Just that little bit more wire, like a little bit more, a like little bit more cool. snappy, a little bit more talkative, you can a little bit more you smiley. Coke uh, affects the brain, and, and you are an example of how Coke affects the brain. I had a little bit of that stuff, but I'm a test subject. Can't drink too much of that Coke stuff, and don't drink too much of that Coke once yeah. in a while, guys. I don't know why. Why so much emphasis on this Coke Zero? And it's not as good. I don't know why, just just one, you know, we <laughs> went through this actually in the 80s, late 80s was it, that Coke changed and they went from Coke to new Coke and you cannot imagine how angry people were. Like they changed the recipe, they actually went from Coke, which had been around since... Like this Coke. This Coke here, this is called the, what they call the original taste, right? Was that the old one then, before the new one came out? Yeah, this is, well now, in, at least in Canada, they call it classic Coke. Right? Yeah. And, um, but why they screwed around with the recipe and decided to make a new one, it just, everybody got angry. They would buy like cases and cases of the stuff. And then like what, a month or two later, they said, okay, we can't do this because it was a giant revolt. And they went back to just having the, the classic, and now they call it, they had new Coke and then classic Coke. And for the longest time, they had a parallel the two, right? Um, but it but didn't then, taste as good. It was more sweet, you know, it wasn't as good. The original Coke taste. Now they have this Coke Zero and all these other. And to this me, there's only one Coke. This dumb know? person was like, "You gotta um, come back." This person was like, um, "I'm drinking diet Coke because I want to die." And they get like a tip of my And it's like, it's like the diet stuff. Is, die. Do not fall for that diet stuff. Your body simply does not understand what that non-sugar stuff is. And um, anyway, I don't think it's good Coke for you at all. But this and we're just saying all this stuff. Like, it's yeah. good in moderation, but if you're going to drink Coke, you're going to drink a soft drink, drink the classic Coke. I think there's only, there is only one kind, you know? And and uh, I think it was a, it was a, it was marketed originally as a kind of a hangover cure. I think Coke. I know you haven't had a hangover, but I tell you, I have, if I have a hangover, I do go for the Coke. <laughs> Nothing works any better than that. Ah, uh, fantastic. So you still happy? Is the Coke still yeah. pulsing through your uh, 
It's still going. Your, tw- your twelve-year-old ver- veins. Okay, so you were like, yeah, yeah. So you got this stuff. You've saved. I, I have a s- sneaking suspicion you're gonna get rolling rock here coming. That's a beer in the United States. The U.S. Rolling Rock. I had that oh, when I was in Washington. It's yes. on the East Coast. Rolling Rock. I'm sure some of you guys have had that beer. Nice first aid. You gonna take it? Oh yeah, you don't have any other. Yeah, true. So what? Two hundred and forty what? Mean, flames? Oh well, yeah, like when you go like, what you like ten? <laughs> ten. Ten <laughs> what? <laughs> ten like. Ten. On the flame on the flame scale? <laughs> no, I know, it's a good question. What's 240? What? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm for, two, two. Every time you we'll find out. What are you gonna save it for? Who are you gonna fire? Who are you gonna scared. Yeah, I'm I'm this is the music's kinda good here. That music seemed kinda new to me. Oh I'm back. Hello. So I guess this way is where Enrico is. Every corner is like. Oh, that's right. I'm uh, when it went like this, yeah. Don't you should... come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser. What? Hell. <coughs> Umbrella. Oh wow. Who is it? Is someone there? Double crosser. What did he mean by that? Mm. What does he mean by that? Yeah, what does he mean by that? Mm. No idea. I'm just gonna search him. Okay. I'm happy with not carrying more items. I don't need that drunk. Right. Oh, that stupid thing. Yeah, just make him eat lead. Oh, no. Okay, I might have to. Yeah, I think you have to. I got that one now at the very far end. Okay, that's good. I might have to use this because okay. it will Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. And then you can pick up something, right? That's just kill that thing. I have to wait because sometimes when he's attacking you, you and you shoot, it doesn't yeah. really register. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to wait because I knew he'd get hit. Well, hunters are just. Uh, the hunters are more tough with Chris for sure, no? Definitely. There's like way more. There's way more, and they're just like. I think this is what always there. Men- <gasps> yes. Oh, nice I need. One. I needed this. The hexagonal one. Right. Mm hmm. Looks like a big giant broken matchstick to me. Oh, I'm just losing. There's another one. All oh, right. Oh. Oh. Shh. That came out of nowhere. That was. It's okay. Oh, oh no! Come on. come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Man, you're just tensing me up here. All right. Okay. <laughs> It's only a wasted one, so it's fine. Okay, good boy. This is a tense episode. This is absolutely tense. Oh, no. What's that? You're... I think you just killed everything. Yes, I am. Hope you're enjoying, guys. This is really... I'm on the edge of my seat here. Same. I'm, I'm like, lifted up. The music's perfect. Oh, oh damn it. Just... Good. Good, 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 good. I have to put this back. You want to go out there? There's nothing else to... Isn't that where you came from before? Yeah. 
What was the point of all that? Did you get anything? Did you like? Oh right, okay, yeah, you got the the broken matchstick. That's right. Why yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now I don't really see what I'm doing because I'm just so concentrated. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. You've been playing well. I mean, I think shout out to Lexonal here for playing well today. I mean, Look, this I is, think I've been, this has been on like my a, best I've, I've ever played in this game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because like the not just like the the zombies, the hunters. Chris is harder, and it's a good challenge. You know? Hmm. Here's a question for you. Can you name all the Bravo team members? Hmm. Great job, guys, keeping... Keep Chris. Hunting. All the Bravo team members. Barry. Barry, yeah. Jill. Jill. Mm. Albert Wesker. Albert Wesker. I should Richard. Have said that Richard. And oh, Rico. You wow. And well, Rico. So we just, we just saw Rico. Richard's right joined by the snake. Brad. And then Rico's... Oh, yeah, Brad the... the Helicopter guy. Here you go, here you go. Go, go. I'm, right. I'm Brad Vickers. I'm up in the helicopter. We're up about 300 feet. That's his story lane. <laughs> uh, yeah, anybody else? Rebecca? There's another flamethrower. Sure. There's two flamethrowers. Uh-oh, watch out. I just think something's going to happen with all that. I think it's just that you can't get through the back door when you take it. Okay. At least this light. Oh, on. that thing is definitely going to rock at you now, because that thing. Are you serious? You're going to go up to that thing? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to move, right? Get out of there! <laughs> Jesus. Man. You can't really tell when the wall's finished <laughs> or not. It's like... <laughs> it's like you don't die now. Oh. Happy music. Could be Rebecca. Oh yeah, true. We haven't seen her in the longest time. Where? Oh, this, this loser, not this guy. <laughs> Down the aisle. So I say, kind of went green, right? A little splash of green, then he goes red blood, right? Oh, one, it's one of the red blood is there. Tense, tense, tense. I don't know if there's more... There's probably more. This is Magnum. Oh, yes. The timing of that. The timing, was yeah. Fantastic. I did that Wesker's report and Enrico Marini. That's right. I think they replaced the, you know, the, the, the grenade launchers in this game. They got rid of the grenade launchers oh. just to give you more Magnum. Okay. Right. After. How do I get them anyway? Like... Mm, I feel like there's some technique. Can you put something there hanging in there? Can you hang something else in there? Like that... That... Uh, broken matchstick? I kind of need that. Do you need it? Just, just out of curiosity, can you, can you just put something else in there? Like just a... It just says like, when yeah, you put like, down the flamethrower. How about, how about, like, do you want to, you know, uh, It just says I have to put down the flamethrower. Like, I can't. Like, I open it and it says will you put down the flamethrower, so it doesn't give me the option to do anything else. Oh, I see. It's too bad. Dry. I thought maybe you can get, like, the old broken shotgun and stick that in there. Yeah. That's what I was... That would be kind of cool. Johnny? Yeah. Johnny. Just save it. Do you say that? Uh, who are our friends back in Kent? Uh, do you guys go? Do you say do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I think you probably do. Uh, Megabyte, do you know what I mean? Oh, good episode! Fun, fun, fun. This is like a gaming episode. I feel <laughs> if they're not all gaming episodes, but yeah. you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You, know, you actually like pro. Yeah, you have to be pro. You have to have. Lifted up your game in order to get through this episode. Like, if you think I'm trash, like, bro. Like, you know, you could have, you know, gotten rid of some of those magnums with those loser zombies and then wasted, and then you're in trouble with those guys. Those yeah, hunters, we're, right? Yeah. So everything is better now. We're doing well. We're doing well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So Gruesome Glenn has asked me, what made you get into antique sword collecting? That's a big question. Uh, oh, are we blessed? Are we blessed with little guy again? There he is. Ready, guys? Who is it? Oh, don't like. Nelson, careful, careful, careful. There's careful, careful. over the green screen. There is Nelson. You want to say hello, Nelson? Get up. I, I can't get up now, dude. Okay. Get up. Hmm? Sit. Huh? There. Okay. You can't sit here. Do you want to say it? Just say hello. Just say hello to everyone. Look up. He takes the crisps. He's eating the crisps. Let's go. <laughs> you just. Nelson, this guy loves food so much. It's unbelievable. So much, yeah. He is can just a food guy. Nelson. Okay. Can, can, can I have some? You can have a couple more. So, yeah. Okay. I don't like in having the, too much. Just the, okay. in, the, in the bowl. In the, <laughs> I can't take the whole bowl. Just here. Just in take this. Bowl. Okay. Have these three. Okay. Nelson, no, it's for us. Mommy brought these for us, okay? This guy, this guy, we can take some, honestly. Close the door, please, okay? Nelson? Nelson, please close the door. Ask Mommy for some, and she'll give you some downstairs. Close the door, please, thank you. So, yeah, are we, oops. I think I'm okay. to get a food. <laughs> Nelson, that guy just loves food. I've had three kids, and I know they're not all the same. When it comes to food, this guy, he will eat for England, you know? Unbelievable. Anyway, that was fun. With no episode is complete without a visit from the man himself, Boy Wonder. He's what's, just so bored. He wants to. What's it like having him as your brother? Your yeah, brother. Well, you don't like know what it feels like. Do you? Yeah, yeah. What's it like? I don't. I never had a brother, so. Well, it's annoying because he respects you more than me. but like, he doesn't close the door when he goes into my room. Mm. When you say close the door, he's like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess. But yeah, it's really, it's really cool. Like, you like, yeah. Yeah. Can't imagine not having him in your life, right? Yeah, but like, but you know, he's he, he, he told, yeah, like, he told me that yeah. you're gonna have Nelson yet, like, yeah, uh, that mommy was pregnant yet, yeah. mm. and now it's in your three years. Oh, that's so cool. But now I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. You know. Right. Sure. It was the, 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 the age difference is. Well, bit. you were seven at the time when we told you, so there's a gap, right? Obviously, there's like, Hannah's just turned fifteen and he's twelve, soon to be thirteen. And then there's Nelson at five, right? So there's a big gap. Yeah, Hannah was seven. I was, I was seven. Hannah was nine, and Nelson and I was born. So it's interesting because we're like, for the longest time, it was just the four of us, and then we had Nelson. Mm -hmm. So Nelson's like this extra little boy, like I say, boy wonder in this family, and he's slowly incorporating himself. But he's an independent guy. It's interesting, you know. Um, but it's uh, he's it's a, a it's fun. He's a he's a he's a good kid. He means well, and he's he's large he and in charge, you know. Hmm. He's large and in charge. But just, he has to go easy on that food, though. <laughs> just always eating. Uh, anyway. But anyway, Gruesome Glenn, what made you get into uh, antique sword collecting? Uh, after, so I'll try and summarize this within two minutes if I can. Oh, we'll after, do it later. <laughs> well, I'll try. Maybe you, you just keep, if you need me, just let me know. But So after I did the modeling and acting thing and voice work in Japan, I went back in 1998-99 to start March 4th, which is a website design company, and I built a whole bunch of websites right with the start where the internet was coming. And we did our own pet project called Unique Japan in 2005-06 that was to introduce and, and to promote those craftsmen in Japan and women that make chopsticks and Daruma dolls and kitchen knives. And we did that, uh, and it was kind of our own project rather than making for other people. And from there, we were invited on a military base to sell our kitchen knives and things. <clears throat> and I would talk about the samurai sword background of the kitchen knives. That's why Japan's so good at making kitchen knives, right? Because of the samurai sword. And then people were asking me, these military officers mainly, saying, hey, do you think you can get me a, a samurai sword when I'm here? Because these guys would be stationed for two or three years. And, uh, and I thought they were joking, but after, after, after having been asked three or four times, I said, okay, I'll look into it. And then this whole world of antique swords kind of came about. And uh, I have the U.S. military in Japan to thank for pushing me into it. And when I did find, about, find out everything about Japanese swords, it changed my life 100% and uh, have not looked back uh, since just uh, a wonderful wonderful uh, topic of conversation to collect and uh, I can get into much more detail later on about what I think the samurai sword represents in terms of personal responsibility and commitment 
but uh, yeah, it brought all the crafts and all my time in Japan sort of made a it made it uh, more understandable. Brought a kind of a meaning to what Japanese culture is all about once studying the samurai sword. So I hope that kind of answers your question. Uh, here we go. Is this the spider web stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the knife with you. No. So thanks, uh, gruesome web. And how many years were you in Japan before, about 20 years before moving to Japan, before moving to the UK? How should I kill this thing? Shotgun? Flamethrower, no? You can't I use it? I haven't got the... F I would love for you to flamethrow that thing. Actually, it'd be quite good for the intro, wouldn't it, if yeah. I got the flamethrower. Can you do it? No? Yeah, it's right there, right? Just burn that. Burn, baby, burn. And you don't see it at that room. You see here. Like yeah. You're walking here. Right. You do not see. No. You, so oh, like, I see. So yeah, I, this happened last time. I was like stuck for like 20 minutes. Like, where do I go? Okay, this is going to be fun. Looking forward, guys. Oh, yeah. You have to get closer? Oh, you just got poisoned. And you're 180. Whatever that is. Bro, I need to get out of Okay, here. all right. What are you going to do? You going to get out first? I, I thought he would, you would... Do you have to get closer to that guy? I don't know. Yeah, bro, that... It was. It didn't really throw the flames very far. Yeah, the flame throw. It was like flame just flame barbecue spizzle. barbecue lighter. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we weren't doing it right. Oh, my back. That is the one thing about getting older. It's like your back begins to get. Is it hard? Is it like just stiff? Just like it's it's you know they get pinched you know they, these herniated discs and stuff. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah. A man, I don't know any other man, another man that doesn't have had some kind of back issue in their life. It's just a, it just sucks. That was so smooth. Oh, there's a there's blue right there. Oh. The um. You might oh. hear. You might hear. Yeah, yeah. You want to get this poison? I'm on, I'm in like danger now. Or if it wasn't for you, I'd be dead. Ready? I, I was. But, but I you're still in danger, no? I was in caution before. Mm -hmm. I went into danger. If I didn't see that, I could have just died. Oh, died. fantastic. And then what? Now what? Shout out to you. Are you fine now? Yeah. And now I won't lose Oh, health. you're still in danger. I'm, I'll, I'm in danger, but like I won't lose health. Like I won't like go down Okay, health. you got to save now, though. So I need to get... I'm going to save. Just don't... Just I, I keep do thinking there's going to be like a... Get killed here. You, you make... You see that I'm actually... Okay, good. All right. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I'm proud. Well, did, we, did we do much shafts that are safe? Well, we, we had the, the spider. Are you thinking that, to roll it in now? It might be a like, video, because we've done quite a lot. We did quite a bit, and then we, we had the spider to it's contend been, it's with. It's been two hours. Two hours, yeah. And we're not going to edit very much, actually. Yeah, you know, but we, we include quite a lot. <laughs> we're actually going to include almost no, everything here. we practically watched the whole thing. And Oh, uh, fantastic. Maybe... Should I like, get health and then save? I want to... Yeah, yeah, sure. Because I forget next time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be a bad news. Now... I have... We have to send a huge shout-out now. now. <laughs> shout-out to... Uh, to Jurek. And... Uh, Jurek is... The young man, which I'm not sure how, I have no idea how young he is. Why do you say young man? I always say young man, because I'm older than most <laughs> people. Because you think everyone's like young and you're old, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Jurek is uh, maybe not so young, but he's um, he is he lives in Spain. And, <clears throat> and, he is, and he offered, what, about three or four weeks ago to do our thumbnails for, and you may, I'm sure all of you have noticed all of a sudden in <laughs> one swooping time, all these new thumbnails appeared and somebody actually asked who um, you know who's responsible for your thumbnails and uh, his name is Jurek and uh, and he's in uh, he's in Spain and we want to say huge thank you to you for for helping me 
and my son for uh, for all those uh, Help thumbnails. Help see through right on and the channel. I guess so, right? I'm not checking those. Th does it does it check? Did, did it help? Oh well, yeah. Probably, I'm sure it did. Probably. You know, I didn't I haven't done any of the stats, but it looks nice and neat and tidy. Very happy. So thank you to you uh, for doing that. Now also, Jurek has a question, right? And it came up just 50, about an hour ago. What has been your favorite and least favorite section of the game? Your favorite section of the game and least favorite section of the game. <laughs> favorite section and least favorite. For sure, least favorite is like dogs. Anything dog related, you know? My favorite. You know that little, that little alleyway with like four dogs and you get like, ugh, that's a terrible thing. But my favorite section of the game, mmm. Tyrant, maybe. The tyrant, when you shot him in the balls. Shot him in the nuts. <laughs> that was just. Nuts and it that was just, for sure, one of the fa my favorites. And also when that that red jewel, when we finally got the light. Yeah. Like, that was. Really and then we were gonna carry more items. Right? Oh, that was fun. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, and also a shout out to Emma. We've been in good touch with, uh, with uh, you know this getting our Wesker merch. It's going to take some time to get this merch so sorted out, but Emma's been helping us. She's awesome. Hey guys, hypothetical question, but all my creativity is channeled somewhere else right now. She's talking about that. If you found yourselves in this situation, which character would you choose to take with you and why? Right? Or if you were in Resident Evil, when you were to right. take someone. Yeah, yeah. Chris. Chris is for sure, right? Yeah, Jewel but not Rebecca. No, she'll just leave you. <laughs> Rebecca's not that useful. Yeah, she'll just be like, yeah, good luck in your room. No, I'll, I'll be in the medical room. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca with that small waist, you know. Um, rabbit. She's the rabbit. But I like I like Chris. Barry for good laughs. No, yeah. he's a bit old. Which character? I would choose Barry. Barry's like in his 80s. <laughs> I like Barry. Well. Yeah, Chris is like a he's young an idiot. man. Idiot. Yeah. Anyway. So I don't think we can get to many more uh, questions here. So that's uh, that's it for that's it for now. But what do you? Um, oh, Uganda. What's the funniest name? Right? Uganda hater. What does he hate Uganda? <laughs> I don't know, but he doesn't seem to like Uganda very much. But Uganda hater says, "I love you guys, and we love you too." Uganda yeah. hater. You're one of the guys that can't like quickly on the video. Yeah, it's right. Behind Gabriella Pin. Uh, that's right. Yeah, like, MC McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. he's the man that. <laughs> no, he's always there. So Uganda Hater is one of our big fans. But yeah, he's really he's yeah. been there for like every episode. Every episode, we we love you. We love you as well. So um, and Retro AM, who? Had, uh, oh, it was Retro AM that asked you who did the editing thumbnail work. So editing is all this guy. He's he's on Premiere Pro, doing it all. Um, thank you, thank you. It really is. And uh, the thumbnail is going up. Big shout out to Jurek for that. So that's it, eh, dude? Yeah, I? that's it. Yeah. Hope you guys had a great. Uh, well, time with us. I it just I feel like we've got this. I can give a giant hug to everyone who uh, to watches watches our episodes. I would do that. So a kind of virtual hug to all of you guys, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next uh, next round, the next Magnum yeah, round. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Yeah, I love this game. It's so good. Awesome. Goodbye, we take care guys. Now.